Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Alexander. For those of you who are new here with us, today we go for a rise and shine morning yoga flow. So the intention is actually to stretch your body, to build some strength and at the same time uh, generate new energy so you can feel good at the end. Okay, if you're ready, I want you to hop on the mat. Today we start into a cross leg seated position. You can also be on your knees if you're not feeling comfortable in a cross leg seated position. We, will gonna not, we are not gonna stay long anyway in here, but I want you to make yourself really comfortable and feel good in, the, in this practice. Okay, so first of all, send your arms up and breathe in. And then exhale, right palm comes down on the mat and then you give yourself a really big stretch to the left side of your body. So it's like you want to touch the front of your mat with your left arm. Okay, and pull abdominals in and then open up your chest a little bit more. And now gently send your left shoulder a little bit backwards, looking up towards the ceiling. And stay with the sensations oh, within the left side of your mat, of your mat, not the mat, but the body. Okay, come back towards the center, breathe in, send your arms up. Exhale, left palm comes down. And again, give yourself a big stretch oh, through the right side of the body. Isn't it great to actually tap into all these sensations, listening? Hmm. And what's amazing is that they are gonna change during the practice. And however you feel right now, you're going to feel renewed at the end of the practice. Okay, come back towards the center, send your arms up. Exhale, twist towards the right, right fingertips behind your back. First of all, press the sitting bones down, find and land through the crown of your head. And then gently exhale, twist a little bit towards the back. And just save for the next breath. Hmm, don't need to go all the way there with one breath. Okay. And then come back towards the center, send the right arm towards the left side of your body. Ooh, this is good. Stay with me just for three, two, and one. Good. Okay, come back towards the center, send your arms up. Exhale, twist towards the left. Press down, lengthen through the crown of your head, creating this beautiful space through the spine. And then exhale, gently twist towards the left. Great job. Okay. Left arm goes towards the right. Mm. Three, two, and one. Okay, come back towards the center and let's meet into tabletop. So come on your fours, palms and knees. Okay, spread your fingers in here. First of all, I want you to feel the uh, ground beneath your body. Okay, and I want you to even go a little bit specific and feel the texture of your mat. Great mat, am I right? Okay, and let's do five rounds of cat and cow. First of all, lower your abdomen, open up your chest and breathe in and say hello to your spine. Exhale, round through the spine, chin into your chest. Good, breathe in, open up your chest. Exhale and round. Good, three more, breathe in. Exhale, press away from the mat, let the tailbone descend. Two more, big breath in. Big breath out. And one more. Exhale. Jean, Jean. I'm so sorry if you hear some strange sounds. That's my dog. I don't know how, but every time I'm here on the mat, he becomes busy. Okay. <laughs> Send your palms a little bit further on the mat, tuck your toes, send the hips up, down or facing dog. And first of all, walk your dog a little bit. Mm. So, how are you feeling today, into this very moment? What sensations do you feel through your body? When you are ready, settle into your down or facing dog and start creating the physical foundation. So first of all, press the fingertips, the knuckles into the ground, press your heels down, the intention of the heels is actually to press down. The intention is not 
to bring your heels on the mat, but to press down so you can stretch the back of your legs. Good. Let's stay for two more breaths. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Okay, and now from here, walk your feet towards the front of your mat. Let's take a ragdoll at the top of the mat. So bring your feet hip distance apart. Okay, press the four corners of your feet into the ground. Jean, Jean. What's your mask? Okay, and then grab the opposite elbow and I'm so sorry. Oh, this is something I cannot control sometimes. And you know, I'm still learning what I can control, what I cannot control. But right now in this practice, just let go of any expectation and just allow yourself to be here. <sighs> and I know sometimes there will going to be things that you don't like around you or maybe so many thoughts about why am I doing this practice? Oh, I know. But still, let's be here. No matter what's around us. <sighs> One more breath. Exhale. Release your palms down and now bring your big toes together and the heels are slightly apart. Take a halfway lift and breathe in. Exhale and fold. All the way up to extended mountain pose. You press down, you lift up, relax the shoulders down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Good, palms on the mat, step back for high plank. Bring your knees down, let the tailbone descend in here, pull abdominals in, and then you go all the way down, untuck your toes, and then press down, lift your chest up, cobra. Hips are staying on the ground. Exhale, down or facing dog, breathe out. Take a deep breath in, and big breath out. Good. Two more breaths in and out through the nose. So together, let's breathe in here. Breathe out right here. One more. And breathe out. And now bend your knees, look in between your palms, and now you step or you walk at the top of your mat, big toes together, take a halfway lift and draw the shoulder blades towards the spine. And then exhale and fold. Here we go, root down, rise up. Exhale, dive forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. High plank. And now you can either bring your knees down like we already did with the other vinyasa, or you can hinge forward, low plank, and then you send your chest up into upward facing dog. And then exhale, we all meet into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Big breath out. Good. Let's stay for two more breaths. Set your eyes on a fixed point in between your heels and just imagine you are breathing through that point. Good. And now draw awareness into your body by setting your eyes there. Hmm. Good. From here, send the right leg up, bend the knee and stack your hips. It's like you wanna touch the left armpit with your right heel. Good. And now step in between your palms and we meet for warrior two. Bring your left heel back, uh, right heel, sorry, back heel down. Okay, good. I'm in, <laughs> I'm all here. And let the tailbone descend. <sighs> Relax the shoulders. Sit a little bit lower because you really want to feel your legs. And when you start feeling your inner tights, that's the message. You know you're on the right path. Good. And now reverse your warrior. Breathe in. Relax the shoulders in here. And breathe. Extended side angle. Forearm on the front leg. And you extend the left arm above the head. Or you can go all the way down. You either grab your block like this, or you go and you use your spider fingers. Okay, let the tailbone descend, and now focus on landing through the crown of your head, 
and then exhaling left shoulder gently goes back good and breathe in here so you can bring some ease into the body because that's what we are looking for strength and ease at the same time okay and now you're gonna extend the front leg you either grab your ankle you either grab your block and you place it on the exterior of your leg or you know the spider fingers on the exterior of the leg we go for triangles Send the left arm up good press your feet down engage the legs and from here keep the head at the same line with your with the shoulders yes and then gently left shoulder goes back okay stay here feel the sensations whatever shows up allow yourself to embrace that from a place of acceptance from a place of love actually okay and now gently come all the way up parallel your feet to the left you want trouble okay send your arms up breathe in exhale and fold palms on the ground put a little bend through the knees and now I want you to bring your right palm in the middle of the mat and from here you gently exhale sorry inhale and you open up your chest towards the left good okay so and in case this twist this twist is like really challenging I want you to bring your left palm on the lower back and from here work on gently every time you exhale sending the left shoulder back that's it as much as you can so any amount is the right amount allowing yourself to be where you are in your journey let's stay for five four three two and one good release your left palm down walk your palms towards the front of your mat left heel goes up let's go through a vinyasa high plank and in here you either bring your knees down you either hinge forward low plank up dog and you press the tops of your feet exhale down facing dog good take a deep breath in and big breath out let's go on the other side because there is always another side Send your left leg up and breathe in. Pull abdominals in. And now bend the knee and stack your hips. Good. One breath. And now exhale, step in between your palms. We go for warrior two on the left side. Arms in opposite directions. Relax the shoulders. Right shoulder goes a little bit backwards. Sit lower, because you can, yes. Strong legs, strong foundation, strong you. Okay, and strong Jean. <laughs> Reverse your warrior, breathe in. Long and deep breaths. And you keep the legs at the same position. Okay, extended side angle. Forearm on the front leg, right arm goes above your head, or maybe you wanna Use the spider fingers. And first of all, press your feet down and then let the tailbone descend. Good, lengthening through the crown of your head and breathe in. Exhale, right shoulder goes back and you open your chest a little bit more. Good. Stay with me, one more breath. Exhale, extend the front leg. We take triangle on the left side, right arm goes up. You can grab your ankle, you can use your block on the exterior of your leg. And now press your feet down and engage your legs. <sighs> Breathe in, land under the crown of your head. Exhale, right shoulder gently goes back, fingertips, fingers are still pointing up towards the ceiling. Good job. Okay, come all the way up and parallel your feet to the right. Send your arms up. Let the tailbone descend. Breathe in. Exhale, dive forward. Left palm comes in the middle of your mat. And now you twist towards the right. 
Make sure you are breathing here. I know this is a big twist. Remember, you can bring your palm on the lower back and you just focus every time you exhale to send the right shoulder back. A little bit, any amount is the right amount, but breathe. And we stay for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Now gently release your arm and walk your palms towards the front of your mat. Let's go for a vinyasa. Step back with your left leg, pull abdominal in in here. You either bring the knees down, you either hinge forward, low plank, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, that was intense. Huh. Take a deep breath in. And big breath out. Good job. Exhale. And from here, send your right leg up and let's go for a half pigeon on the right side. Right foot behind your left palm, right knee behind the right palm. Okay, I need to find a spot in here. Jean, are you comfortable? I bet you are. Okay, make sure that your right knee is actually pointing towards the exterior of the mat. So in case you see your knee pointing at 12 o'clock in front of the mat, move it towards the right. Okay, and now drive your left hip forward and go on your forearms. Good. And breathe in here. And now this is an invitation for you to feel whatever sensations are coming up in the right hip. Hmm. So notice the internal dialogue. Notice if it's a positive one. Notice if, notice it, if it's empowering. So if it's not empowering, oh, let's reframe it. And just allow yourself to feel whatever the tension or the resistance you may be feeling. This is a moment for you to feel, to embrace and to accept what is. It's not like we are going to stay here forever, right? So for the next couple of breaths, use the breath as a way for you to find ease and to relax a little bit more. Good. You got this. Okay. Two more breaths. Exhale. Okay, and now you're gonna find your way back to downward facing dog. Maybe walk your dog a little bit in here. Okay, and from here, bring your feet as wide as your mat. <clears throat> like really comfortable, into a really comfortable downward facing dog. And from here, you're gonna walk your palms towards the back of your mat. Turn the toes on the exterior of the mat and let's take a malasana. Palms in front of your chest and now land under the crown of your head. Good, and your arms are pressing into your legs, legs are pressing into your arms and you use this force to lengthen even more towards the crown of your head. Okay, good. One more breath. Exhale. And now send your arms up, pull abdominals in. And you're gonna come all the way up, bring your feet hip distance apart, and let's go for a three pose. So you're gonna bring the right foot on the inside of your left thigh. You also have this option. You can be here or on your shin, avoiding the knee area, or all the way up. Okay, good. And you see if, you, if your hip it's going towards the left. I want you to send it back and then focus on pressing down and lifting through the crown of your head. Okay, good. And then arms are going up. And let's stay here. Relax the shoulders. Two more breaths. One more. Oops, and release. Okay, good job. And since we are at the back of the mat, find your way back to downward facing dog. Okay. 
And now, send your left leg up, breathe in. We go for half pigeon on the left side. Good. Okay, make yourself comfortable in here and then stay still, noticing if you are trying to adjust the pose and readjust the pose, like looking for a sweet spot. Sometimes, honestly, from my experience, there is no sweet spot in this pose, at least not for me. Oh, I'm way much better right now in half pigeon, but when I did it for the first time, I was like, no, I'm gonna die. Yep. So allow yourself to be still and breathe. And tap into the sensations within the left hip as a way for you to get connected. Okay. Relax the face as well. And if you want to go even deeper, maybe extend the arms above your head and place the forehead on the ground. We stay for three more breaths. Last breath in here. Good. Okay. Find your way back on your palms if you are not already there. Tuck the right toes. Send the right knee up. Pull abdominals in. And now you press back for downward facing dog. Okay, maybe walk your dog a little bit. And when you feel ready, send your feet as wide as your mat. Yes, this really comfortable downward facing dog. This is how I see it. And then walk your palms towards the back of your mat. Tend the toes on the exterior of your mat. And now sit into Malasana. If Malasana is way too challenging, you can take a squat well it's not gonna be easier but at least there would gonna it's gonna be an in-between pose for you lengthen through the crown of your head we stay for three breaths good one more exhale now send your arms up Pull abdominals in, and even the lower ribs are going towards the mid spine in here. And then you go all the way up. Good. Heel toe until you bring your feet hip distance apart. And we go for three pose. Good. This time you lift your left leg and you choose your option. Okay. And make sure that your foot presses into your leg and the leg into your foot. Press down, lift up. Keep your abdominals engaged and then grow your tree, sending your arms up. Okay, my tree is sleeping. I'm going to use the shin. So remember, relax the shoulders and then focus on pressing down and lifting up. One more. Good. Okay, and now gently release and from here, find your way back to downward facing dog. And take a deep breath in. And big breath out. Okay, bring your knees on the mat, swing the legs to your favorite side, and you're gonna sit down. Extend the legs in front of your body. Send your arms up. We go for seated forward fold. Exhale and fold. Now in here, I know this can be a lot. Definitely not my favorite pose, but you can bend your knees and you can bring your arms near the legs. Okay, and then you focus on lengthening through the crown of the head. And then exhaling, sending your chest towards the legs. As much as you can, this is not a contest of reaching your legs or reaching your toes, no. This is about creating the space you need through the spine and then going a little bit deeper by sending your chest towards the legs. Three full body breaths. One more. Exhale. 
Good, come back towards the center and now bend the right knee. And we go for single leg forward fold. Send your arms up, exhale and fold. Good, breathe in again and land under the crown of the head. Exhale and fold. And now gently come back towards the center. Let's move on the other side. Extend your right leg, bend your left knee. Send your arms up. And then exhale and fold. One more breath. Good job. And now gently release. And you're going to lay down on your back. Okay, I'm going to switch a little bit. I'm going to go on this side so Jean can be also part of this class. I'm still learning to trust him. Okay, and go all the way down on your mat. And now we go for a shoulder stand or a half shoulder stand, okay? So maybe you've never done this. And in case this is true, please, first of all, look at me and then you can do it, okay? Let's do this. So send your legs up, hips are going up and you can be here. This is gonna be a half shoulder stand, which is amazing if you are there. Or you can go and bringing your shoulders on top of your Hip, sorry, the hips on top of your shoulders. And now send the toes towards the face. Heels are pressing up towards the ceiling. And now it's your turn to come into this pose. Half or all the way into a shoulder stand. Your choice, your practice. Eyes on the ceiling, okay? That's why I wanted you to first look at me so then you can look at the ceiling. <laughs> and from here, you're gonna send the legs over the head into a plow pose, seeing if you can touch the ground with your toes. If you cannot, bend your knees, making it a little bit easier for you to reach. Okay. You can either interlace the fingers behind your back, you can either have your palms on the ground, eyes on the ceiling, please don't look at the screen. Okay, and now very gently, you're gonna come all the way back on the mat, vertebra by vertebra. Good, and we go for our fish pose. So bring your palms under the lower back. Okay, extend the legs. Oh my God, we don't have the space, I'm gonna do it. Okay, and from here, you're gonna come on your forearms, pull abdominal zin. Toes are pointing towards the face. You either stay here, okay? And maybe sending the head down, or maybe you're gonna go all the way down, placing the, four, the crown of your head on the ground. Okay. Keep abdominals engaged. We stay for five, four, three, two, one. Good, and we were gonna go out of the pose like we entered. So first of all, lift your head. Good. And then you go all the way down. And now bring the right knee into your chest. We go for a supine twist on the right side. Extend the right arm in the same line with your shoulder. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, twist towards the left. Eyes over to the right arm. Come back towards the center. Let's switch sides. Bring your left knee into your chest and then exhale, twist towards the right. Make sure the left shoulder stays down. And 
And just relax a little bit more in here, feeling the sensations through the spine. Good, come back towards the center. Let's take a Supta Baddha Konasana. So bring the soles of the feet together, bend the knees, and then let your knees gently fall towards the ground. Rest one palm on top of your chest, the other on top of your abdomen. And I want you to take a couple of moments in here and notice what has shifted since you started this practice. What exactly has changed? And relax your body a little bit more towards the ground. And now gently release everything and let's take Shavasana and let's end this practice by letting everything go away, Re releasing any effort, the expectations and just allowing ourselves to be, that's it, just be. Relaxing every part of the body, every muscle. Tapping into your breath as a way for you to relax even more and as a way for you to stay anchored. And as always, I'm encouraging you to stay at least for five more minutes into the Shavasana. And I'm going to leave you here so you can oh, let the mind incorporate what the body just experienced. And I hope to see you soon on the mat. Namaste.